to the Anstling and Badger. It's round five of our resin for Stillman matchup. Today's category, after print cleanup. So far in this series, Filament has managed to pull ahead. They are hit two to one with print, printer cost, and materials cost, and resin is ahead in print quality, and they tied on print speed. Today we're we'll looking at after print cleanup. What that means is, once the printer has stopped running, what do you have to do to that print for it to be ready to be painted or, or done? Okay, so let's look at our resin one first. When the print finishes and you remove the printer bed from the printer, this is kind of what it'll look like. You'll need to remove your print from the bed. Sometimes you might need to use a, a scraper like this one that comes with my printer, or you might need to use some something else to get it off. But once you get it off, and make sure you're handling both of these with gloves. Uh, that's one of the main things. Resin is toxic. They always recommend you use gloves and a, and a mask when, when dealing with your resin print, when you're dealing with your resin. Anyway, once you get it off of this, it needs to be cleaned. Some resin is water washable. A lot of it, you need to use alcohol. High, like 99% isopropyl, 90% isopropyl, high as you can get. You know, wash it uh, thoroughly, let it dry, and then it needs to be UV cured. There are UV lights out there you can buy. You can stick it in a window and give it direct sunlight. Uh, once it's cured and washed, you're ready to go. This dog has been washed and cured. I've had it here for a couple days doing these, the series. I can paint it or I can just put it on the shelf as is. He's done. Next, a filament printer. When the filament printer is done and you're done with your print, that's it. So, in this round five of our filament for resin contest, Filament wins the after print cleanup. With the resin, you have to wash it and cure it with gloves so you don't get the skin irritation or the resin on you. And on the filament printer, when it's done, once it's removed from the print bed, that's it. Now, to clarify, these results are based on supportless models. These dogs that I've been using so far in the competition have not required any supports. You print them, there's no overhangs, nothing crazy, so it doesn't need extra material to make sure they print correctly. So in this case, in this category, filament wins. We will do in the future um, a support video on which one has better supports, which one has easier to remove supports, the filament or the resin printer. However, in supportless models, filament wins the after print cleanup. So with today's win, filament has pulled ahead three to one in this contest in printer cost, uh, material and component cost, and now in after print cleanup, and resin still is ahead in print quality, and they tied on the print speed. We will have other rounds coming up where resin might be able to pull ahead. And uh, if you have a question that hasn't been addressed yet about these two printers, please comment below and I'll see if I can do a comparison on them for you in that video. Uh, please subscribe, please like. We have more videos planned on different subjects, on the Glowforge, on printing, on all sorts of crafting things. So anyway, thanks for watching Think About Your Crafts and I'll see you next time on this Resinverse Filament or 3D Printing Basics.